Hey guys, it's me, Lil, Lil Ninja, back with another video. And today we're doing What If Naruto Was in a Legend of Korra Part 2. So, yeah. Uh, I should have did this last week, I guess. Because it would have been a very good Part 2. Because I, uh, I should possibly re-watch Korra. Because I haven't seen it in a while i do know what uh this part is about so i don't really need to go watch it right now but yeah also we are still trying to get to 500 subscribers and at least we got to 310 i guess uh let's just try to bump that up to 350 you know what? i'm gonna lower the goal let's try 400 subscribers then 500 and then 1000 so yeah Without further ado, let's get into the great video that is this video. It's Little Ninja time. Naruto and Tenzin would be trying to teach Korra how to be the leaf. <laughs> From that one episode. So, yeah. Tenzin would start up the old uh, old airbending mechanism. And Korra would go in after seeing Naruto do it perfectly. And she would try and immediately get smacked by a bunch of fans. Basically, getting smacked every which way by every single fan finally coming out on the same side that she went in and she would get mad and blow up the well old mechanism of fans naruto would take her over and to uh, basically the battle arena because they had a uh, a pro bending match to do anyway Kara was starting to think if she can't learn wind, how good is she as the Avatar? The Avatar needs to learn all four elements. If she can't learn the f fourth element, what good is she? Naruto would pat her on the back, saying, we'll talk about this later. You gotta match the face. Plus, I know how, you, how much you like pummeling people with your water element. Kura smirked and then would get gets ready for the pro bending match. Basically, they win is all I'm gonna say. Uh, Bolin, after the match, uh, would be out going to try and get, basically trying to find some extra money, since um, Mako and him are kind of uptight on money, since they have a fourth, I mean a third and fourth fourth new player now, they need extra money to keep living in the well where they are. If they don't come up with the money, they'll be kicked out. And just like in canon, Bolin gets abducted uh, after taking a shady deal. Naruto would uh, get a poster saying D uh, benders are tyrants and he would look at it and then show it to Korra who would then show it to Mako as they were all out trying to figure out where Bolin wa was. Korra uh, would then look at the back and see basically coordinates and would try and get more trying to find make a whole map which would help and finding the place all three mako Bo, uh mako naruto and Korra would get in basically relatively the same way they got in although Korra would kiss uh naruto instead of mako and they would get in with, with naruto acting like he was the father of mako <laughs> Naruto and Korra, I mean, Naruto, Korra, and Mako would look around trying to find Bolin, trying to find out where he could possibly be until they all see him in front about to get his bending taken away. Naruto would rush in and Mako and Korra would rush in on the sides using their fire bending to basically run all the walls. Naruto would basically Rasengan, uh, 
the uh, person in the mask, and but uh, he would dodge it. And I know what you're saying. You made Naruto OP. Yes, I did make him OP, but this Naruto is still rusty. He's been inside of a tree for years. Like, I mean, yeah, he's still overpowered. He's just, like, even Korra had trouble with this, and she's the Avatar. Even though he's stronger, it would be, since he was inside of that tree for so many, so long, it would not be as easy as it used to be. Naruto only really knows how to be pro-bending, be in pro-bending, and how to basically, you know, yeah. Naruto would use sage mode, trying to find any other victims and get them out of here. Then he would sense three of the people that still have their bending, but two other people that already lost their bending. He would take uh, Bolin and the three other people that still had their bending and would start helping Korra to take down this masked man until Korra got chi blocked and so did Naruto. Naruto tr- taking, I mean, uh, Naruto and uh, Mako taking Korra and Bolin away from there, trying to get as far as uh, far away as they can, not trying to basically, well, uh, cause any more any more of a scene that than they already have. Getting back to the Air Temple, they would try and figure out a new plan to take down this tyrant that will be coming up soon not knowing really anything to do they would have to think about this later because of course they have another match coming up the fire ferrets have another match coming up but they would like win like in canon so really i don't i only have to bring their matches up like sometimes so yeah (sighs) Naruto would try and calm Korra down, thinking Korra thinking that if there's a person that can steal everyone's bending, people will rise and try and take everyone that is a bender down. Bending would be no more. Korra explained this to Naruto. Naruto would decide and train. Naruto would have to leave the fight. Uh, I uh, mean, hmm. Naruto would ask to leave the fire ferrets so that he can train, wanting to train with Tenzin to get his skills back up to the way they were. Of course, he won't be as skilled as he used to be, but he will be getting his skills up a lot. Trying hard, he would basically uh, relearn the Rasengan and make it even better than it was before. And yes, he been had the Rasengan. I'm just saying that he relearned it, like went back to the basics of the Rasengan, found the components that he needed, uh, threw anything that was bad about the Rasengan out, and made a entirely new Rasengan. He calls it perfect Rasengan. Basically, it is way more powerful than a Rasen Shuriken and way more powerful than a, a, a giant sage mode Rasengan and way more way more powerful than Rasengan Barrage. And that's why it's called the perfect Rasengan. Of course, he'll still be using the other Rasengans that I mentioned. It's just this one is basically a one hit KO attack. So yeah, but it won't work if he can't hit it. The only problem that he has with this Rasengan is that as soon as it is made, it disperses after 20 seconds. So if he can't land the hit with it in 20 seconds, it will disperse. Naruto tried everything to stop this from happening, but it just seems like that was the cause for for making this thing perfect. (sighs) Yeah. After this, Naruto would train on everything else, trying to get his taijutsu skills up, trying to make sure his Rene Sharingan will be ready whenever he needs it, trying to make sure that he will be able to defeat anything. Kurama would finally be awake, pushing Naruto into his uh, mindscape. And Naruto would be super happy, hugging hugging Kurama's hand, trying to think how long Kurama has been asleep, 
Kurama has been asleep longer than uh, Naruto. Naruto would just be happy that Kurama's back and would uh Kurama would force his chakra through the, his chakra co- through Naruto's chakra coils so that way he would get a burst of energy making his chakra coils way bigger that way Naruto uh would be able to get high amounts of chakra faster. <sighs> Naruto would then rejoin the fire ferrets after about a month. And after that month, a lot has happened. Korra uh, has remet the masked man, but in that, uh, basically uh, had to fight him a couple of times with Mako uh, and Bolin. Bo, um, uh, with this, Korra and... Uh, I mean, Korra, Mako, Bolin, I mean, well, Korra and Mako has, have also uh, went apart from the fire ferris to find this masked man and worked on, on most of it. Because if they don't, then nobody will be safe from this bending tyrant. I mean, non-bending tyrant, but we already know that he's... I'm not. If you don't know Korra, then I'm not going to spoil it. And if you don't, you need to watch Korra right now. Get out of this video and go watch Legends of Korra. Now. Now. Why are you still in the video? Go. Okay, now that the person has come back from watching Legends of Korra, they know exactly what I am talking about. Hopefully. <sighs> Naruto, uh, so yeah. Naruto would rejoin the investigation about trying to find, uh, Trying to find out where exactly this uh this person would be at, trying to figure out how to defeat him. And if if Naruto since Naruto doesn't have bending, he, uh this one person can only basically chi block him for a temporary amount of time and he can uh basically Nine Tails can basically force his chakra coils open so that way if he does take away his bending Nine Tails just can just reopen his bending forcefully, meaning that Naruto has a way to give people's bending back. Since, uh, well, you know the Masked Man, you know how he works. <sighs> Naruto uh, and Korra would eventually find uh, I forgot what his m- name was. I really forgot what that guy's name was. The brother of the masked man that can bloodbend. He would begin to tell him his past. And I really don't want to dive into that. Uh, basically, his brother and him were uh, bloodbenders. And they used their and the masked man used his bloodbending to basically uh, block up their chi fully. Making uh making it impossible to bend, meaning he can't anyone that is uh anyone that he does this to cannot bend, but it can be reversed back. <sighs> yeah. Naruto and Korra will begin to run towards the temple. I mean, run towards the. Run towards the bending arena, finding, uh, what's the name? The masked man. And immediately, both of them, even both Mako and Korra combined, they absolutely get wrecked. And Korra's bending is taken away until Naruto comes and starts to bombard the masked man, shattering his mask. And then Korra, uh, uh, thinking that Naruto needs help, would try and help him and would unlock her air bending, pushing him out into the water, making him forcefully water bend, and the paint masking uh, getting off of his face. Showing that he was not uh, a non-bender and he was actually a bender all along. He escapes and his brother also escapes with him. And everyone knows one of the most saddest scenes in Korra. The thing that broke almost everyone's heart. He 
both of them exploded. <laughs> yeah, they exploded. Both of them. I really did not like that scene, but it it really... I did not like that scene. After that, Naruto and Korra would basically go back and start their new airbending. Uh, I mean, would try and teach Korra the new ways of airbending, basically. <sighs> okay, that means the Book of Spirits. That's what this book is called, right? Yeah, this next season, basically. Naruto would open open this up by uh with him and Kor- Korra walking through her main village, seeing a bunch of basic, seeing a bunch of rides and uh, games to go on. Naruto would point at some games, and Korra would follow Naruto, basically to the games while she would be doing the same. So yeah. Until a giant mass of spirit pops out from the sky, and Korra and Naruto have to deal with it. Until Korra's uncle dispels the spirit and basically makes it good again. And the spirit would disappear. So yeah, that happened. Should I make this video only like this long? Uh, I'm starting to lose memory on how this uh and this thing ended basically the fire ferrets were never uh, assembled again mako became a police officer uh naruto and kora are still in a relationship bolin is basically by himself at the fire fairs trying to find a new team so yeah that's still going on and i only got like two three minutes to explain all of that of course, oh wait a minute, I completely forgot about a character. Com- fully, completely forgot about this character. Mako's new uh, girlfriend, I completely forgot about her. I forgot, I need to go check what the heck her name is right now. Uh. Okay, I got the name, it was like Asami, Azami, I forgot. But yeah, basically those two will stay together. So yeah. Bolin would be with Asami and Mako. Trying to find uh trying to fi- uh find well Asami's trying to find a new business partner. Well a business partner to work with. And she would find find uh I forgot this guy's names too. Yeah, I really need to rewatch Legend of Korra. But I'm still gonna keep doing it. It's like only two minutes. So, yeah. Basically, everything that's Mako uh, uh, and uh, a, uh, I already forgot her name. Ajia, whatever her name is. Uh, Ajia, whatever her name is. Got Bolin basically a new profession, a new job as a actor, Nut Tuck. <laughs> I forgot how funny that name was. Uh, so yeah, well, Naruto again would go back to his training, would basically go back to training as Boomy would be rolling in and uh. Uh, uh, I forgot Aang's freaking son's names. I mean, well, his once, his airbender son name. What was his name? Really, I forgot. Uh, I have no idea, and that is where I will be leaving it off as with a little joke, as I have no idea what the heck the names were so without further ado i'll be leaving off and i hope you will like this video and i mean it was 20 minutes so you kind of that's my stick i do 20 minute videos 
so really, I hope you like this one. I hope you like the other ones. And try to watch them as well, because they are pretty good too. Like, we got videos about ninjas, videos about uh, Goku, videos about Midoriya, and videos about Naruto and now Fumi, and a bunch of other characters that you can suggest for me to do. So, go uh, into the comments and suggest a character for me to do, how I'll watch the anime, and then come up with some ideas for that anime. Well, without further ado, I can actually leave this time, so... Little Ninja, out. Little Ninja says bye.